Hey everyone, welcome back to Vex TCG. Today we are opening an illustration magazine that focuses on Pokemon TCG art from Japan. At the back, there is also a 2021 to 2022 Pokemon card game illustration calendar. So we can see some really great artwork in here. In here. And I do know there's some unused artwork that they haven't made into cards yet. So let's go in and have a look. Hard. Okay, so we have the magazine here and let's flip to the pages with the artwork. Oh. VMAX artwork, Blastoise artwork, and the Charizard artwork there. Overall, this magazine, I think I got on special in Taiwan. Um, it was, normally it would have been around $40 Canadian, but I got a 50% off special, so it was around $20, I believe. So I think it's a pretty good deal. I mean, this is all the classic artwork. Adjust the camera a bit. I think it's really good if you're into illustrations and also discovering who the artist was behind your favorite cards. Some articles on the illustrators, step-by-step -step processes and concept artworks. I think we're getting to the really good one soon. Uh, the Champion's Path Rainbow Charizard. So these are cards I think are really, really awesome. And I don't think they've been used or released yet. Look at that Grookey. I think people would go crazy over this old art Suicune. That could be in the next set actually, the Suicune. That would make sense. Um, I do believe there's a Suicune in the next set. That Pikachu is just so good. Kihara Misaki. Yano Keji. This one. It's Finnegan's last evolution. Really, really dope. This kind of artwork is just um, almost like Dali style, isn't it? Like really old school. Really cool. And then that Chikorita by Kuno Yoko. Oh, look at it. It's just like Chikorita so tiny it's on the desk. Um, that little Sakura branch perfume makes a lot of sense. Aesthetically pleasing. And look at the Gengar. And that sort of almost like traditional Japanese art by Ishiguro Ayako. That is really awesome art. This book, uh, Obviously, I would say it's pretty worth it if you can get it at that price, but even at 40, I think it's really good. A lot of inspiration, especially if you're into art. This is the uh, Warm Pikachu. I know it's the only release for Uniqlo. Um, I mean, dream card for me. Old Art Birds, one of my favorites. I guess that is all for the Pokemon side of it. Now we'll go to building the calendar and seeing what the calendar is like. So 2021 to 2022, Pokemon card game illustration. 
This was released in May, I believe. Oh no, it was released in March 2021. So uh, I guess they're starting on April. We have the classic Pikachu art by Mitsuhiro Arita. Uh, we have the Charizard art by Fukuda. Eevee for June by Hasuno. Uh, we have Jirachi for July. Myotic for August. Igawa, Akira Igawa. Clefairy for September. We have Mimikyu in October by Murayama. Ditto for November. Is this Litwick, I believe? Litwick by Soso illustration in December. This should be a Fletchling by Suruta. Lucario in February by Nagimiso. And last but not least, who do we have? Ah, a very, very cute Squirtle. Resting and breathing a bit heavily by Sui. Overall, I think with the calendar intact, um, it's pretty worth it. I mean, I know they're reselling even the calendar alone. Just on eBay, it's around going for $50 Canadian. But overall, I think it's a really, really cool item. Um, what is it? This is June, so I guess we can put June in. With the Eevee, you yeah, finished the month off. Uh, that is pretty cool. And I guess I'll keep these to the side so we can change them. And I can leave that here for the new display. But let's go back over to that favorite art. I want to look at once more. Grookey Suikun. Pikachu. Chikorita and Gengar. Such nice art. All right, guys, remember to like and subscribe. And once again, be one of the first 100 and go on the draw to win these booster packs. Thanks again.